All right, today we're gonna to talk about uh, our three in one food plot system. I don't think we came up with it. I'm not sure, I, don't, I, I do a lot of looking on YouTube for other uh, systems and way to do things, but this is just what worked out for us. Uh, what is a three in one? Well, you got what I consider a year round plot, which in our case is Tecumani's Monster Mix, Clover, that's our year round. And then you have your spring, summer food plot if you so put one out and then your uh, fall, winter food plot. And so what we do is, is we take half of our food plot and plant it in the clover. And then the other half is in a no-till drill rotation where we put our summer and then our fall food plots in the same place. Now the big reason why is, as you can see me, it's, it's like uh, part in the sea up here. It's green and then brown. Now in a perfect world, and no-till, I think it's called the buffalo system, you got a lot of carryover depending on what you're planting from one season crop to the next. But if you're like us, uh, our summer uh, blend that we planted ended up having just a tremendous amount of grass and weeds in it. And I thought we'd get a better stand for our food plot if we went ahead and terminated it with Roundup. And then I actually cut it with a bush hog, not to the ground. And then yesterday, uh, drilled it with our food fall food plot. And uh, so you can see, once again, it's green then brown. The deer have been tearing this, this clover up pretty much year round. And then when you have your both plots going, whether that's summer or fall, they have an uh, option. And, and again, we watch them on a live camera. Probably won't be able to see it over my left shoulder. Right to the right of that pine is a security camera. It's a true security camera, PTZ pretty stout deal and we monitor this day and night and uh, so we've been able to watch what they do live and they'll they'll feed here a while then they'll go there they really don't have a preference it's they just wander around but when they don't have a choice like today of course they're going to be nailing our clover uh, I will address the elephant in the room uh, the sprinklers irrigation uh, you go oh, that's a little extravagant for some food plots well, we don't normally have to use them, but it has not rained here since the end of July. I bet you we've not got a tenth of an inch of rain since the end of July, and then we're really late planting our food plots, but it's been entirely too warm and entirely too dry. So I finally decided yesterday, turn the irrigation on. Uh, I think I turned it on a couple of days before, got this field a little moist, and did our no-till drill in that. And today I'm over here doing a video, of course, and turning the irrigation on to get it watered down. Now, once again, back to the irrigation being a little extravagant, not so much really. Um, I think it's about 300 feet away. There's a well. Uh, it is there to keep our pond, pond or slash lake filled. We got a five acre lake right over there to keep it filled. So it really wasn't a whole lot more trouble to put a tank and a, a two horsepower pump and pump it down the hill and we got some valves we can select which one of these heads we want to run. We normally don't run three at once because it's almost just not enough water. But anyway, you can see them in the background getting our fall food plot uh, watered because the way uh, God's doing our uh, rain right now, this may be the only food plot that we have this year because it's just not getting rain. But nonetheless, three one food plot, a year round on one end, and then switch up your summer fall plot. The other good news is, is uh, if you think about it, is if you decide what to plant, make sure you plant the right things. Like we're going to plant soybeans next summer in the same area, and that's going to put that nitrogen in the ground that our fall plots need. So do some research on what you plant, and then this is just a way to plant. Got any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comments. Please subscribe and like uh, videos. You want to see more of our content and also helps us out and YouTube's a logarithm or whatever they call it. But uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you stay tuned for more of our videos.